All right, what is up guys? Losing Manic here, let me fix my camera. And today, we are going to be talking about another hardcore sniper, or another Fallen New Vegas hardcore build. Um, this one is gonna be a bit different because um, I'm coming, this is the second time I'm having to make a different video, or this is my second time recording today that is gonna be uploaded, and this is immediately after making the Institute. Why the Institute is the worst faction ever which came into a rant so um, sorry you guys saw that if you guys didn't enjoy it i don't blame you but this was gonna be a bit different because um i have been wanting to make this for a while and the reason that is is because um whenever whenever i first started new vegas i i wanted to do a sniper character because i don't i didn't like sniper rifles i don't like sniper rifles but that's mostly in like multiplayer for Call of Duty because you have no control over that but in Fallout in the Fallout series you have control of how it's how how it is done so this one and so whenever I got the ultimate edition for New Vegas I wanted to the first thing I wanted to do was a sniper character which is what I did um, it was really fun but then I was like you know what let me try a hardcore mode after the PS4 broke after my PS4 um, something after my PS4 after the PS4 like took a shit on me uh, metaphorically speaking um, I went back and I played New Vegas and I did hardcore mode um, and it's, number one it's really fun um, I've done it before but I struggled a lot but now that I kind of focus now that I know what to do it's a lot of fun um, and two one of the things I wanted to do when it came to hardcore mode was be a sniper um, but there is no way of doing that let me fix this a bit yes I'm sitting on my bed this is my pillow I use so let me fix that um, so this is going to be the sniper character um, I didn't have time to memorize it, so if there's something I miss, I'm I'm sorry. Um, so, special stats for this character. 5 strength, 6 perception, 4 endurance, 4 charisma, 6 agility, sorry, 6 intelligence, 6 agility, and 9 luck. Um, attack skills are gun, sneak, and survival. Optional, optional, um tags which are necessary which one of them is necessary is repair barter and there's and lock pick because one of the weapons is needed there um optional web uh weapons of choice when you go to the hoover dam with is either the gobi campaign scout rifle or christine's silence or co8 cos silencer rifle which you can find and little Yanksy at the Old World Blues DLC. The reason, and a lot of people use the anti-material rifle for the sniper build. The reason we're not doing that is because even with, um, I think one, uh, one round of 50 MG or .50 MG is like one pound, which means you're gonna be carrying a lot less .50s. And you would be carrying more 308s than .50s, obviously. And so we need we need more .308s. So something like this helps. And plus, um, the anti-material rifle is heavy on its own. Um, Christine's COS silencer rifle is f six pounds. Not exactly. But it is six pounds, and a Gobi Campy Scout rifle is five point something pounds. So, um, lighter ammo, lighter guns. Boom. Um, and this one is a bit different because if you have the Lonesome Road DLC, this is going to use a different type of armor. Armor for this one. Um, first Recon Beret, Authority Glasses, which I talked about how to get that in a moment, and Ulysses Duster, which has plus one charisma and has a critical chance. Of five percent, so it's base. So you're basically using um, it's basically like the elite right gear, except you're not getting much protection, but you are still getting the benefits from the light armor perks. Um, I was talking about so authority glasses where you can find them. If you know what Caesar's Legion is, if you're facing, if you're facing the 
can the safe house itself where you can enter through if you look to the left you see like a little outlook up near the old nuclear test site there is um two places you can get the authority glasses one is on the ground between some chairs there is one on the chairs i don't know if you can retrieve those um there's one on the ground there and there's also one on some sandbags up up on the front of the outlook while in the outlook not and having to turn around and face the outlook it's on there um those are those are optional but for purposes of this i will say do get those because those kind of help out the character a bit so um i will go over 308s in a moment but now let's talk about perks i don't have all the perks listed so i'll name off a few the recommended perks this is one that you have to have for this character um is hunter um jury rigging obviously um intense training with the luck stat um i'll talk about that in a moment as to why well it's obviously because it's a sniper um light touch um and travel light because you because so when it comes to light touch um you do it adds point it adds a five percent critical chance to your base critical chance it's not affected like finesse or ulysses dust or the first recon that is your base stat which means you could add more to it um and some other optional um so check the description i'll have all the information there that you need um just so that way people who write stuff down aren't going to be like all right all this all this all this plus tag skills are a bit weird with educated which is another essential perk that you must have some other additional perks include fight the power which is by far my favorite um intense training of agility um i'm trying to remember some more tunnel runner just to name a few because i had all of them listed below but i just my mind is complete shit so yeah um this character starts with the ncr um trying to remember what else i do have implants um strength agility i didn't add perception because or uh, i don't know if perception actually affects that uh hit chance if it does or whatever right um um so and i do have some lonesome or not lonesome road um i think i forgot to mention uh, the special tag you get after lonesome road is put into agility um for tunnel runner because um you're already at six agility and if you get the implant for agility making that seven you can get the tag for agility you could take the special stat tag at the end of lesson one put that into agility boom you get tunnel runner which increases strength or not increases strength uh increases movement speed on light armor or no armor which is pretty good for a sniper character if you ask me um so there we go um and hunter because we get easier to be easier to get food so because we are playing on hardcore mode so if after you leave Doc Mitchell's place you set on hardcore mode, the answer is yes. Because that is what this is about. Um So yeah, I do want to mention one thing before I get into the backstory, just in case people who don't like backstories can just go on ahead and fucking leave. Um if you do have Dead Money DLC, um I don't know exact locations where, but if you go, whenever you go and retrieve dog in the police station, um, if you find the men's bathroom, there is a, um, there is a chip code thing, I don't know what it's called, or a vending machine retrieval code for 308 ammo in the men's bathroom. That is important for this because if you, if you, once you get into Sierra Madre and you turn on the power for the casinos, if you max out blackjack, because you're already going to have a luck of 10, um, because, and I advise getting the luck of 10 at like level two, so that way you have that luck for the rest of the game, 
Um, if you max out the luck at 10, which again, I advise at level 2, like I just said a couple seconds ago, um, Blackjack is a lot easier, which means you can run through the chips easier in Blackjack, which means you can do whatever and then put all those chips into 308 ammo. You get around two to 3,000. I think I've gotten 4,000 total in there, which does weigh a lot, but um, you d <laughs> you do end up getting more. Plus, you can always just keep those chips out of once you're done with the Sierra module because you get those chips back anyways, or you keep those chips anyways. Yeah, anything you keep out of the Sierra module goes to your character. So basically, you can you can basically treat the Brotherhood of Steel safe house as your home to just retrieve whatever. Kind of go back and forth because you can't fast travel there. So, yeah. Companions doesn't have any. I don't have any listed. Kind of like the uh, the Zion Survivor list, which I forgot to mention in that video, but I clarified it at the beginning of the video. Um, you don't need to have companions if you use if you want companions. I do advise um, some easier ac or accessible ones. You could use Boone since you are going to need the first recon beret anyways, but. For me, I always use Eddie and Veronica because those are the two I care about. Um, plus, with that, you now have an excuse to have the um, Lonesome Road perk, which basically um, makes it to where you have 10% more damage um, and 10% more accuracy and vets when you don't travel with a companion so that is pretty useful i am lightheaded i've been talking too fast give me a moment wow <laughs> all right moving on so there's that now for the backstory um i don't remember all of it i'll summarize it this character grew up to a loving mom and dad um, he he looked up to his dad he because his dad taught him how to survive in the wild and he taught him the code of survival which he said was travel light and adapt to areas which is pretty good um, so that means he never he was never really a fan of wearing medium armor there you go um and so with that came, he he said to take up. Uh, he said he went to go to the Mojave, to join up with the military because he figured that that would be something his dad was proud of. Um, plus, with the survival of the military, that he could he could put that to good use. After he was he was a part of first recon, but not there with Bitter Springs. Um, he wasn't familiar with any of the group there, uh, any of the members there, so Boone and Manny Vargas wouldn't be able to recognize him. There you go. Just for all you lore freaks out there who were like, but Boone and Manny Vargas won't remember him. There you, there you go. Um, but he had heard of the rumors that happened at Bitter Springs, and this is, and this is the point that comes in where you could use... Boone as a companion to get his ending. There you go. Um, after which he decided to leave because he didn't want to be berated for his behavior with being a part of First Recon. And so, after that, he decided to take up a job as a courier, living because he decided to use that as an excuse to adapt to environments like his dad said and he also would use this as an excuse to visit his family since he would always travel west to the shady sands where he grew up whenever he saw his family at the as a job as a courier um he told him about his life experiences in the military and was like in mojave his mother seemed proud but his father was disappointed and almost very angry because he used the military as an excuse as a way out and as and his dad felt like he didn't teach him anything with surviving out there in the wastes so whenever the time came to he decided to leave Mojave leaving his family behind because his dad was whatever you want to say he was um and so he as a career job he was carrying the platinum chip he was knocked out 
in Good Springs and shot by Benny. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so much talking. So yeah, there it is. There is the Fallout New Vegas Hardcore Sniper. If I forgot anything at all, check the description. All of my notes are there. Everything I have. Um, so yeah, remember, play this on Hardcore Mode. Stay light, stay from... Um, stay out of sight and whatever first recon's symbol is, do that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really tired after that institute thing. So, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Um, I am Loser Maniac, and I hope you guys enjoy this build because I have spent forever trying to figure this out, and I might just go back and play New Vegas because. Um, I want to get this done. I haven't even reached level 30 yet. That's the weird part of this. I'm basically showing you guys a character that even I haven't reached level 30 yet. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this character. Um, there are a few uh, optional weapons you can use, such as the Rat Slayer, which you can find at Brockflower Cave. I do advise being careful, though, because um, those rats are fucking crazy. Um, and they will kill your companions. Um, plus, you can also use the hunting rifle. And kind of going back to what I said with the combat armor and my Zion Survivalist, you can basically do that with the hunting rifle to repair your other hunting rifle with the scope and bolt action, whatever. Um, as well as some ammunition. Yeah, so uh, there you go. Again, check the description if there's anything I might have missed. Um, if you guys think... If you guys can think of anything that's important related to this build, please let me know because I want to give you guys something. I want to give you guys a good experience. And if you guys have any questions about this build, um, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, so, yeah. Peace.